And he snaps it over to J-Dub. Goes right around Simons and then powers it down. J-Dub. Full flight. Straight ahead. Right down the middle. Powers it. Tunity gets us down to single digits. Nice cut. There is J-Dub. Stays in the air long enough for the... Bunny hop. Moves that are just ingrained. Guys aren't getting away with anymore as J-Dub wants it. J-Dub. Right back. Now he turns the corner, goes with a left hand. What a move. Williams to the basket. Giddy called for it, swings it down to the rookie J Dub. He goes right by, flips it back out to an open shooter. It's J Dub, a little short, got his own miss. Powers it down. There's a rookie here, Jalen Williams, the fade, gets that to fall. Nice bucket. Big bucket. Here's a loose ball, and J Dub, first one to the floor. He's going to keep that alive. There's Jalen Williams. He pulls up, knocks it down. This is six assists tonight with ten points. Dort or Megan Gilgis Alexander. A not a bad put back. Nobody. I just shot my shot at this little dot. I'm trying to crack that neck on her big neck. My nigga selling crack. What's up, YouTube? It's Drew, and I'm back with another vehicle. B. Bod. Barry 20. Barry video. Now, first things first, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're in the road to 6K now saying today I am the Bill Dilla on your local corner. And I'm coming to show with this J Dub Jalen Williams build video. Yes, sir, this was requested. So here it is today. I had a good time with this build as always. Y'all was really, really wanting this build. So, you know, why not make it? You feel me? But J Dub has been going crazy this season for a rookie. You know, he obviously didn't have the highest of expectations coming on to the uh thunder where they already had an elite guard in shea gilgis alexander but it definitely looks like Jalen williams will evolve into an all-star caliber type of guard but we will see but without further ado let's get right to the actual use for this j-dub new video so as you see he is six foot five 211 pounds with a seven foot two wingspan and a defined body shape yes his wingspan is seven foot two which is why he looks so gigantic on the court a lot of times it looks like he plays like a big man or like a center just because his wingspan is just so long he's so long you feel me now with the attributes you want to put his close shot up to an 88 you want to put his driving up to an 87 and you want to put his driving dunk up to an 80 you know i was contemplating giving him contact dunks but he's not really that that type to just dunk on people like that even though he can and lastly you want your post control on a 50. now for shooting you want a 84 mid-range rating an 83 point rating and then you want to put your free throw rating all the way up to a 70. Now for your playmaking, or yeah, for your playmaking, you want to put your pass actually up to a 75, you want to put your ball handling up to an 82, and you want your speed ball to be an 83. For your defensive rebound, you want a 55, eventually I'm going to uh, change it, I know right now it says what, 59, but I'm going to make the executive decision to give me 60 block rating, you know what I mean? But I'm going to uh, put his block rating up to a 60, as I said, put his interior defense up to a 55, put his perimeter and steal at a 80, and then his defense rebound can be put up to a 50. Now for his physicals, you want an 85 speed, 80 acceleration, 50 strength, 80 vertical, and a 94 stamina. And this is pretty much the build. So like, comment, and subscribe if you knew, if you haven't already. You see it is a very balanced build. It can literally do it all, which is the type of player that J-Dub is. He can do it all. You know, man's is shooting 35% from three this season. See what the takeovers I have. Easy blow by his poor precision. But I have access to slashing, shot creating, sharp shooting, and playmaking takeovers. But as I was saying, man's has been consistent all year. And yeah. In the shades of, I obviously don't get Jalen Williams. I don't expect 2K to do that, but I do get DeJounte Murray, which is an interesting comparison. I'm not going to lie. Very interesting. Jalen Green and Vernon Maxwell. You see it's a three-level score. So let me know what you think down below about the build, what y'all like about the build, what y'all hate about it, what y'all would change about it, if you think that it was accurate or not. But yeah, like I try to represent everything. Jalen Williams has been shooting, what, 35% from three this season. He has a, a nice mid-range game. He's not the best shooter, but he can shoot. He really shines in his finishing and, I, and his defense. And I tried to show that. Now, as you see with the bash, but it's very balanced. But I would put at least one badge upgrade 
that you get for playing my career to um, defense rebound just so you have access to the tier three defensive badges right now in terms of the other badge points you could either put them all toward defense or uh, put it toward finishing you know you see right there I had Jason Tatum lost I had him shook that was really bad and that was the first time I scored two this game with a silver ankle breaker rating man's was lost man's was doing the nene that was very sad now in terms of the build like I said it is a very shifty very nimble very quick build and on top of that it also has a seven foot two wingspan so it's like hard to really contest this bill block this bill you name it it's hard to do like it's very very hard to do just because it's like this build is like it's just too long pause but you know what i mean like it it just has all the tangibles has all the skill sets has all the abilities of a regular guard but it's just six five with a seven two wingspan and that's literally what Jalen williams is so you know i try to represent that in 2k you know i gave him the ability to shoot as well it, it is a very consistent shooter if you're wondering with this uh build i use pj tucker jump shot which i really love i've loved pj tucker's jump shot in 2k for a while now and yeah but let's spend two minutes talking about Jalen Williams. So Jalen Williams, as I said, well, he was like the 15th pick. Obviously, that's not the highest expectations, but he was at least in the cusp of the lottery. I don't think he was exactly lottery. I forget the lottery cutoff, but still, you know, Mans was high. He was a high to mid draft pick and obviously was drafted to the Thunder, who have literally picks for days, you know, and already have Gilgis Alexander, already have Josh Giddy, you know, they already have uh, Lugens Dort, you know, they have these guards and smaller players that really, really excel at what they do, right? But they can do multiple things. And you see Jalen Williams is just another addition. And I don't think they expected Jalen Williams to be the way that he is now in terms of like his ceiling. Like it seems like his ceiling is so high. You know, he shows such flashes of amazing defensive ability and he has such great finishing already. Like the only thing he needs to polish up is is shooting and if he pauses up his shooting like he's going to be a 20 point per game shooter at, or score and they're going to have what shea giddy and jalen williams being able to literally change the flow of the offense and defense which is very interesting to see so maybe we see the thunder be contenders in some years maybe we will see that but hey let me know what you think down below if y'all think the thunders will be contenders with all the draft picks they got but that's pretty much the end of the video y'all Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and roll to 6K. And I'm saying, comment down below any bullshit y'all want, and I'll eventually get to them. But until then, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Peace.